Hey everybody, Ann here. The following clips are what I've been up to over the past mm, couple, two, three days. I'll tell you what, there's some good stuff going on. My today's foraging adventure brought me more honey mushrooms. These were taken from different parts of my property. These were more shaded. These were getting a little bit more sun. There's just a regular puffball, a gem studded puffball. Yes, they're edible. And these, these are also honey mushrooms. You'll notice a difference between these and let's put these next together. These. Okay, um, these are ringless honey mushrooms. And these are just plain old regular honey mushrooms. You see how they got a little ring? These are the more mature mushrooms. These are less mature mushrooms and they break through a partial veil. See that? Uh, once the cap opens up, then it's going to leave this little ring behind. These are also edible and I'm going to kind of like saute these up separate from everything else because I want to see if they taste different than the other ones because they're certainly more meaty. But um, I think I'm going to see, I'm going to investigate how to dehydrate these. I'm trying this method to dry them out. I started them last night. I had them inside and um, all these are, are new. I just found them today. But it looks like it's working pretty well. Um, in a few hours I'm going to turn them over and just see if drying them in the hot sun, and it is a really warm day today, uh, how soon I'm going to be able to do this and whether or not they'll start rotting <laughs> before they actually dehydrate. So hopefully we'll have a few dry days, and if not, I may just try and finish them up in my little camp oven. I don't know, that's going to be a chore, but I want to see if it works. All right, I'm looking at this, and you know what? Who wants a big trench in their front yard? I don't. I keep tripping over it, and that looks terrible. So I think I'm going to do something about it. Why not? I figured... I dug the hole anyhow, so I just turned this into a garden bed. I didn't put any wood down in the bottom because I don't have any that's really super rotten right now. Um, I did put some leaves down in there, just emptied some soil from the other pots. I added some, uh, you know, the leaf and the remnants of some of the um, green bean plants down in there too. It'll put uh, some nitrogen back into the soil and just kind of made it like this. <laughs> I put rocks on the corners to kind of, I don't know, just because I thought they needed to be there. So yeah, that's what I did. See that there? That stone has been around for a long time. I found it out in my woods, kind of up on dry land. It had some other rocks underneath of it and it looked like somebody had been cooking underneath of it. So I've been using it for various different things and I just decided to scrub it up real good on top and see if I can make a little, you know, stone oven cook on it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cook directly on it. Um, I'm going to fire it up and see how it holds up under pressure. This is, this is either slate or um, claystone or mudstone. Um, they're generally pretty hard and I've read a couple different things. Some say don't use slate, don't use, uh, you know, varying different degrees of uh, slate. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I did scrub it up. It doesn't look clean, but it is. And just see how well it holds up to heat. I also decided I don't need a big old fire pit. So I just used some of the leftover bricks and made me a little fire pit. I still have some bricks left, but I put one of those stone slabs down in the bottom of it. So I can probably use it any old time. And yeah, so I got a little fire pit. I got me a little cooking stone and a new garden bed. I don't know if I'll actually plant anything in it right now. I mean, I could. There's a few things I could plant, but you know what? What the heck? <coughs> I knew that was coming. I figured since I had a couple dozen eggs sitting around, I'd go ahead and water glass them. I've used up all the others that didn't explode. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't try and do this during the warm months. 
uh, but the chickens have slowed down laying, so I want to make sure I have plenty of eggs. So, yeah, there's a couple dozen. I can add some more to this jar if I want to. But, yep, I want to make sure I have some eggs. I got me a little fire going. Let's see if this water evaporates. Oops, I'm afraid to get too close. It's actually pretty hot. Yeah. It's just from a yucky dog bowl. Oh. Not quite hot enough. I don't know. It's starting to sizzle. Phew! Well, you know what? I have a couple polar sausage. I wonder if I could get them to cook on the top of this thing. You know what? Nope, nope, nope. Yep, yep, yep. That works so much better. Yeah, I'll repurpose all that for something else. Nice little fire pit. Does the job. Mmm, yummy. What do you think, Papa? <laughs> he wants one so bad. Yeah, probably a mistake, but that is Sonny, and that is Junior, and they are Papa's sons. I've gotten them um, some puppy pads and some puppy food. Now I'm on the way to Tractor Supply to get them some worming stuff and their shots. Too gosh darn cute. That's Junior, that's Sonny, both boys. I went to Tractor Supply and got their first set of shots. They're like $12.99 each. And I got some wormer medicine. So I'm just going to let them get settled in here. And then I'm going to give them their shots and give them their worming medicine. Look at They're just so cute. Oh my gosh. Well, hello there, Junior. My dad said he thought it was a bad idea to get one puppy and I ended up getting two. But I figured... You know what? They've got eight more to go. <laughs> so, they're so delightful. Yep, getting some nummies. I went ahead and put some water in there. They said they were eating the food just normal, you know, dry, but um, I, I'm softening it up a little bit for them. Oh my gosh. Papa, Junior, and Sonny. I can't wait to see him grow up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Papa's showing him the ropes. He already peed on that little post thingy. He doesn't like to pee in here, but he did. He's just sniffing around for him. That's Sonny. And where's Junior? Junior is right up underneath my chair. They've both been wormed and they've had their first shots. I gave them to them myself. They're kind of coming out of their shells a little bit. Hi, Junior. Hey, Junior. <laughs> well, Papa's very gentle. Be nice, Papa. Oh, yes, they are just so adorable. Look. Hey, Junior. And that's Sunny. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, so cute, it's going to be fun. Next thing is, is getting that boy in to get him fixed. I haven't done that yet, it needs to be done. They've been eating <laughs> and peeing. I haven't seen either one of them poop yet. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Hey, Junior. I love you. All right, I gotta go let those chickens out. <laughs> what do you think of your new puppies, Papa? They're gonna look just like you. And maybe a little bit like Miss Nella. Aw. Junior. <laughs> Papa doesn't know what to think about these puppies yet. Junior just wants to follow Papa around. Either that or hide underneath my chair. Yep. I got puppies. I got two puppies. I think they're going to make a great addition to this homestead. I'm going to train them up to be just like Papa. And um, I can't wait to see them grow. Oh, my goodness. I was a little nervous to give them their shots, but um, I did it. You know, I I'm a retired registered nurse, so that's not a big deal. You just pull up the skin on their back and give it to them. And they didn't even yelp or anything. So, um, you know what? 
that's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.